722 in Lorraine, helping us keep morning news gluten-free this morning. Yes, yeah, she's taking us on a tour of the Kinnikinick Bakery. Well, we're either hair netted or shower capped and we're ready to roll. Take a look at these bags of flour. They're not really flour, are they, Han? No, it's a blend of starches and uh, gums. So it's your own special mix for those who require a gluten-free diet. Absolutely. How many pounds or kilos are in there? It's about 750 kilos. And how many of those bags would you use in a day? Uh, two full ones. <laughs> Two of those? Yeah. So how many donuts would you make in a day here? Roughly 50,000. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's take a look at the process and give you an idea. You can see that they're just starting to make the dough over here? Yeah, it gets mixed real quick. Then uh, once it's mixed, it gets transferred into this cabin. Uh, there it gets transferred into the depositor and extruded through these piston heads. That is so cool. Now, they actually measure and weigh each and every one of them? Yeah, the staff are really good about identifying which ones aren't fit for the mix, and so they'll double check them, and if they're too big or too small, they get turfed in. Can I have the leftovers? Uh, sure. <laughs> Come on over here. What's happening in this, what looks like an elevator ride? This is our proofer cabinet, so it's humidity and temperature controlled. Uh, it basically activates the yeast. It gets puffed up and ready for the fry. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. What kind of oil are they taking a bath in? It's a palm and canola oil. Okay, and it doesn't take long at all for them to go through, does it? No, roughly three minutes. And then there's what they call a waterfall. That's a waterfall of? Fondant. Oh, yum. I'll take a shower in that any day. <laughs> okay, take a look over at the far side. There's a belt. Those have already gone through the fondant? Yeah, once they go through the fondant, it takes a brief time for it to set, and then they're ready for packaging. Wow. Okay, so let's take a little wander. Jerry, when you started this business 25 years ago, could you have dreamed you were going to be running an operation like this? No, never. No, when we started making donuts, we used to make them on a table. We punched them out individually. Today, we have the most automated plant in the world. We make the largest number of gluten-free donuts in the world, actually. And do you ship them all around the world? Uh, mainly North America, just gradually going offshore, but uh, since it's frozen products, it's a little more difficult. Ah, okay, so they're making other products in this plant as well. You've got an even bigger plant. Yes, we have a large plant on the, other, on the Yellowhead Trail, which is about six times the size of this one. Wow. And we make uh, all kinds of different products there, much more diversified. Now, there's a reason we're here. They have a teaching kitchen here, and they have all kinds of things where you can learn. If you need gluten-free products and require that diet, you're gonna learn a lot this morning. We're gonna take you to the kitchen with one of our educators in just a few minutes. Kinnikinick Foods is located on 109th Avenue and 120th Street. For more information, log on to kinnikinick.com. I like saying that. Yeah, it's a good word, isn't it? It's fun. Kinnikinick. Kinnikinick. It's fun. And they do good work. At, they do amazing. Uh, amazing. I, mean, I meet so many people who are intolerant who have seen oh, yeah. that kind of thing. It's amazing. Well, They're you've been through there, right? Yeah, absolutely. I did a whole yeah. big story with that guy. I remember that. that. Yeah. Personally, I love gluten, but they're doing great work <laughs> for so many people, like you say, that can't. I mean, you can get they have everything, everything there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty remarkable. Yeah.